Hey buddies, how have you been? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna create the spready sand dunes blender. So let's get the process. Press A to select everything and X to let to delete all of them. Then let's bring a plane and scale it about 10 times. Then press tab to go to edit mode and right click then subdivide and you see that it's divided into four squares then open up this menu and change the number of cuts to something about 50 and tab again to come back to object mode and come to modifiers tab and add a displacement modifier then click on new to add a new texture and from here come to image properties or we can just uh, click this part this icon and uh, come to this label here and change the type to clouds and now you see we have this shape here and you can change the size of these clouds from here let's increase it a little bit something about 40 or 41 I think it's good and come back to modifiers tab and let's decrease its strength amount to something like this maybe a little bit more yeah it's good and right click and shade smooth and also we can add a subdivision modifier to make it more smoother okay it's the modeling part and now let's go to the shading tab to add a material to add a sand material and our environment and let me just enable this and screen caskies here too as well okay click the click on the plane and uh, click on new here and we have a material here and select the principal pstf and press ctrl t to add these three nodes here the image texture mapping node and texture coordinate and if this won't work uh, for you just come to edit and preferences then add-ons and here search for node wrangler and enable this add-on and it will work for you as well and let's bring them a little bit here and let's search for image texture because we'll need it for the roughness and the normal map let's bring it another one image texture or you could just uh, duplicate it by selecting it and pressing shift D but I just uh, search for another one and bring brought here three of them and click here and open up the image and this will be our texture for the sand but uh, as you see its roughness isn't fit very well and we should fix it and for fixing it it's so easy uh, just click on the open from this image texture that we added and add the roughness texture for that too and connect the color to the roughness and also connect the vector of mapping node to the image texture of roughness then the roughness fits as well and it's much better than before and also let's add the bump node here for the normal map shift a and search for bump node and yes we have it here and select both of them and grab it a little bit to the left side and connect the normal to the normal and let's add the normal map and also click connect the color to the height and we have this shape here it's too much i know we can decrease it from the strings part something around maybe 36 is good 0.36 yeah it's good or maybe we can just decrease it a little bit just a bit and let's connect the vector of mapping to vector of the normal map image too as well and also we can 
scale it a little bit somehow around four four is better yeah it's better and let's add the environment or the hdri then from here change the object to the world and let's find the world nodes and search for environment texture and connect the color to the color and from here you can open your hdri and we don't have it here because it's not checked here we for seeing our own lighting in our own world we should come here and click on this arrow and enable the scene lights and scene world and in this case we'll have our own world in our own lights then come back to layout tab and let's turn it on again and from here you can come to material mode and let's do the same thing here let's enable the scene lights and scene world and there you go we have the beautiful scene beautiful hdri and these sands here we, we created the sand dunes in blender and it's really realistic and you can play with the amounts you can change or decrease or increase the strength of the mm, displacement modifier or you can come here and add another textures or the decrease or increase the size of the modifier or the texture here it's completely up to you there's no rules for doing this work it's an artwork and it's up to you to do whatever you like then this tutorial is done here and if it was helpful for you just click on the like button below and subscribe my channel and also hit the notification bell in the, in the case of not missing any videos so see you on the next video